Hey, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. In the kitchen today, I want to talk to you about making some lip balm. Uh, organic homemade lip balm. We're going to use our beeswax from our honeybees. Nice, clean, beautiful, golden beeswax. Uh, we'll have this on our website as soon as we get it up for sale. Uh, we have these little containers, little 5 milliliter containers, a screw top. Uh, so we're going to fill those up with uh, homemade lip balm. We're using some shea butter, equal parts shea butter to coconut oil, and a little bit of lavender essential oil, a little sweet orange essential oil, and uh, my proprietary blend, which I ain't going to tell you what it is. Uh, so I'll show you what we're going to do. Warning, overconsumption of Nurse Josh's lip balm may lead to addiction. Woo! So we've got our containers laid out. Uh, you want to be sure and use disposable utensils. Whatever you put wax in uh, is not going to come off. So be sure you use disposable utensils for your stirring, okay? So when you make this mix, you need to use a double boiler type system, I guess. Uh, I've got uh, a couple different things. This is a wax melting container. Um, and we also have uh, this measuring container, which we just have it sitting in warm water. We, we don't want our water over 160 because it can disturb the uh, um, makeup of our wax and our different butters, our shea butter and our coconut oil. Our organic coconut oil and our organic shea butter all get mixed up together in the same container. Uh, for the mix that I'm doing, I need one full cup of mix to make 50 of these little lip balm applicators. Um, so, I'm going to take these and mix them together, heat them together, and add my essential oils to them and stir them. One thing of note, when you buy your containers to put these in, you want to make sure that they're a food grade type container uh, that can seal up because people will put this in their purse or in their car and it'll leak out. If it gets hot, uh, basically this stuff will heat up to well, 120 degrees and it'll turn to liquid again. So uh, it'll leak out all over everything if you don't uh, buy the proper container. This is our wax melter right here. And this is our mix with our shea butter, essential oil, and coconut oil. And we're going to mix one half cup of our coconut oil mix and a little over one half cup of our beeswax. And then we pour into these containers. Now, I've started pouring into these containers and as you can see, I made a mess at first. But I'm getting better. I found that if I put a paper clip inside the uh, lip of this container. So I've put a paper clip right here inside the lid of this container and it guides the wax to drip into these containers better. It's a delicate process. So in review, we've made 50 containers of lip balm. Delicious lip balm that you can use for the entire year. This is probably two or three years worth of basically chapstick or lip balm for us to use around the house. Or we can give it out to friends, which I'm sure we will. Uh, simple. It cost about 35 cents. Uh, the ingredients were uh, a quarter cup of uh, shea butter, a quarter cup of... Uh, coconut oil, a little over a half cup of organic natural beeswax, and essential oils. You can put whatever essential oils you want. I use a lavender and a couple others that uh, I mix in. Remember, don't put a lot of essential oil in because it's very, very potent. And some essential oils you need to research because they can burn you. So if you apply them directly to your skin. I also use some of this as a wonderful mustache wax. So, twofold, two purposes. It's great stuff. 
Thanks for watching. This is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer in the kitchen. Woo! Don't forget to subscribe to us because I need you. I need you. Like this video. Thank you. Best thing about this here lip balm right here is you can eat all you want to of it. It won't hurt you one bit. It'll make you get the runs a little bit though. Woo! Stinky.